Hello everybody and welcome to Filbert Flies. Welcome back to Graz in uh, Austria, which I mispronounced last time and I'm determined not to do this time. Um, so we're picking up where we left off. We are flying the working title modded Cessna Citation CJ4 once again. And we're taking it all the way to Kristiansand in Norway, which has a brand new scenery from Gaia Simulations, which I haven't actually had a chance to have a good look at yet. Um, but as you can see, We've got a few other aircraft around us. We're flying on VATSIM. Model matching is working incredibly well, as always. Hence the <laughs> rather strange dark yellow plane. Chris Cross, you're from Norway. Hello. Was it you who was asking me to fly to Norway recently? I know someone did. I can't remember who, though. Um, Kai, you've got to go and land in Lisbon. Why do you feel like you're in heaven? Well, because you're watching Filbert Flies, and I imagine this is very much what heaven's like. <laughs> Maybe the music as well. Um, Good evening, LDR. Hello, Matt. How do you fix the avionics screens in the A320? I don't know. Uh, best thing to do would be to go onto the fly-by-wire Discord, assuming you're using the mod, um, and ask in their help channel. Good. Hello. Good Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening, I think, for you, Ludwig. Welcome. Uh, good. Well, I'm glad I was able to... Uh, to do it, uh, Criss Cross. And uh, some fantastic, fantastic new scenery has given me the push I need. So I guess we should probably... Uh, start setting up. It's quite a long time since I've flown the CJ4, um, but uh, we'll see how we get on. Hopefully I've remembered how to do it. And I'm also going to show you the new Navigraph. Uh, um... Oh, interesting. I was having a little play with it and it's still got the chart window up there. Uh, so battery master to on, avionics to dispatch. Um, so yes, we'll begin setting up the uh, FMC. Pause in it. Done. I'm going to import my flight plan from Navigraph. I've uh, pre planned this. So we'll go to the index page and then next, route menu, flight plan recall, sim brief. Oh, you asked me to fly to Scandinavia a few days ago. Well, there you are. I, I'd say both of you have asked, and it's taken me a while, but, uh, but here we go. <laughs> Hello, Zanis. Ah, you're the yellow uh, generic -y thing, are you? Yellow A320. Nice. <clears throat> We've got Swiss Radar online as well, I believe, which is rather exciting. Right, we'll execute that. Um, I'm going to try and get rid of this chart page. Mm, that's interesting. Hmm, okay. Don't know what's going on there. We may have a problem. Let's turn the, the uh, avionics to on, see what that does. Bear with me a second. Uh, I can't clear it. I can't clear it. What am I going to do about this then? Nothing's working there, is it? Should we try turning it off and back on again? I don't imagine that'll work, but you never know. <laughs> mm, no. Oh, yes, thank you, Jenny. Yes, do do all of that. How do you update the fly-by-wire? They've got a very simple... Um, program that does it for you. Uh, if you go to, as I say, if you go to their Discord, um, then you'll find a link to it. There's also a link to the main fly-by-wire page in the video description, and you can you can head there and, and update it, hopefully. Uh, thank you, Kaffel. Cheers. Oh, yes. Yeah, the GitHub, GitHub page is a great idea as well. Hmm. Yeah, but I did res I restarted the sim, and um, This is what I ended up with. Okay, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Um, I'm going to go back to the starting soon page. I'll keep talking to you, and <laughs> I'll uh, I'll quit the sim, and spawn back in again. I wonder if I need to re. You don't think I need to reinstall the old uh, mod, do you? I might do that to be on the safe side because I only downloaded the latest version. Uh, this afternoon, so that should be relatively quick to just delete it and drag everything back across. Then we've got a clean install, 
less to worry about. Where have I put it? Aircraft mods, there we are. Get rid of that one. Mm, in fact, let's put it straight in the community folder to be on the safe side. I use uh, MSFS add-ons linker, which uh, normally works very well. I don't think that's to blame, but... Uh, okay, it won't let me drag it across. Probably because I've still got the sim link in there. I'll get rid of that as well. Okay, that's copying back into the uh, <laughs> community folder. That's done. We'll restart the sim. Old fashioned style, turn it off and on again, exactly. It's all you can do. <laughs> the airplane is fixable. I'm guarantee. I'm guaranteeing it because uh, it worked perfectly a few hours ago. I, I think that, I mean, obviously that's some kind of bug. And I think what I'll do from now on is just make sure I don't have the charts page open when I exit the sim and hopefully, hopefully that'll do it. Oops, hello, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> this is going beautifully, isn't it? Here we are, sim's starting again. Give you heaven music, okay. We'll have, we'll have the Grieg again. <laughs> we'll just pretend the last uh, six minutes never happened. Might be interrupted rudely by the uh, flight sim startup tunes, but anyway. Maybe you have an idea, but for put the sim brief user, you have to put the number. Yes, you do. You put the the uh, sim brief user ID. You're talking about the CJ4, right? The CJ4, you put the number, and for the fly-by-wire A320, you put your username. Cruising along at 429 knots on your way from Baltimore to Arkansas. Nice! You in the CJ4, Jenny? <laughs> oh really, Peekaboo? So it's more likely to be the Asobo update than the actual mod, do you think? Oh, you're right, Mark. Yep, you're right. You can use the number there as well. Ah, thanks, Dennis. Good. I don't think I've flown the A320 since the sim update, actually. Really? I didn't... I mean, as you know, I know nothing about the TBM. I'm amazed it can do uh, those kind of speeds. <laughs> right, right, right. Nice. I must give it a go one of these days. No, we're heading to Norway, Zephyr. I normally try and find a little something to play from the destination country. So we're taking off from Graz in Austria. And uh, this is just to get you in the mood for what Christian Sand, I'm sure, makes you feel like. <laughs> I have seen that there are contrails, yeah, I have. Which is pretty nice. Right, it's uh, loading. It does take a very, very long time on my system, but uh, we should be back on the move shortly. Or well, not back on the move, back in the cockpit at least. Let's see what other Norwegian music I can play you. Um, Grieg's original. This is by someone called Lena Niesgaard. It's not by Grieg, but I guess it's uh, in honour of him, perhaps. You're right. It is. It is the small bits in the sim that make a difference. Although I sort of wish they'd. Um, fix the rather bigger things, personally. <laughs> oh, this 
is rather nice as well. So for those of you who have joined since it all went wrong, uh, it all went a bit wrong, so I'm just restarting the sim and we should be underway again shortly. Right, I'm back to the main menu. Graz. And I wanted to depart around about 10, I think I said, or 10.30, was it? Definitely up for a daylight flight, put it that way. Uh, there we are. Lovely start indeed. To be fair, I've not once had a single issue with uh, with the CJ4, but these things happen. And you get to listen to some nice music, which is a sort of, I think of it as a bonus rather than a full start. <laughs> Not unless this goes on for another three hours or so, LDR. <laughs> Okay, ready to fly. Turn the live weather back on. Fade out the music because I, I totally failed to catch it in time. There we are. Um, and I guess, I guess you can come back into the sim with me now. Let me switch it over. There we are. Okay, good. Let's try again. Let's try again. So, set the time 10.30. That's about right. See what happens when we stick the battery on. That's looking better, isn't it? Excellent. Okie dokie. Back down here. And we'll go to the position init page. Copy that across. Index. I bet I have to put my uh, details back in again. Oh no, it stayed there. That's good. Uh, back. Root menu, flight plan recall, sim brief. Hello, Bailey, how are you? Hello, Tom, hello, Steve. Gosh, it was worth pinging you all in the Discord, wasn't it? I forgot, and then the uh, <laughs> the uh, delay, technical delay, um, made it, made, gave me the chance. Good, so we'll execute that. Uh, I'll just set up my displays. So um, really, we want this in... Uh, plan mode I guess for now and we'll set up our departure and arrivals well we'll set up our departure anyway let's just check the meta oh I better reconnect to that sim hadn't I du -du 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 -du. flight plan refile that meta for LOWG wind variable at two knots hmm okay so we don't know what runway we're going to get until we contact ATC. Do you know what? So that we don't have to rush this, 
I'm going to connect external power, I think. Which is very rarely done in the real world, as Matt advised me. But uh, I don't want to be starting engines without clearance. And I also don't want to be faffing for so long that the battery runs out. So we'll do that. Uh, da -da -da -da, you will be inclined <laughs> before I take off. Yeah. Is he gone? I think he's gone. Oh, maybe that's him. He must have just pushed back and he's now a... He's in a Sobo, or he's not, he's an Airbus livery to Airbus instead. Uh, I have to intervene. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. I'm very well. Bit of a bit of a hitch, but um uh, yeah, we seem to be we seem to be sorted again now. Right, let's go to the tuning page and get what do they call themselves? Swiss radar on frequency. Ooh, this is all changed as well. Oh, that's because we're in uh, dispatch mode, probably, isn't it? We don't need to be in dispatch mode. We can turn all the avionics on, and now we've got everything lit up and ready to go. So, Swiss radar, 128.05. Don't suppose we have any ATIS for here, do we? No. This is true, Zephyr. I had it all saved, but since updating the mod, um, I've lost all of my presets, unfortunately. But what I tend to do is save the uh, present position uh, display on here rather than bothering with the with the plan. But you know what? Why not? I could put that on memory too. Let me just check my audio settings because I'm not hearing anything on Swiss Radar. <clears throat> Right. Oh, hang on. We're not in Switzerland, are we? They don't cover here. <laughs> I always think Graz is in Switzerland rather than Austria. I don't think they cover here anyway. Silly. <laughs> no, no. No, they don't cover Austria, unsurprisingly. <laughs> Uh, if you didn't hear me, it means you aren't on Unicom. No, I'm not. I'm on Swiss Radar. <laughs> Zanis, which runway are you taking off from? I guess from the way you're pointing, you're going for 3-3. Uh, three, three. I'll do the same, because the wind doesn't really give preference to either. Okay, so let's go back to departure and arrival. Oh, sorry, not 3-3, three, 3-5. Three, three, five. Three, five centre, yep. And we want to follow. <laughs> I know. I don't know why. I don't know why I always think that Gads is in Switzerland. It's all mountainous, isn't it? You think the main problem of this fly hasn't started? <laughs> what, you mean you think it's going to get even worse than me uh, not knowing which country I'm in? I hope not. <laughs> ah, Ben, hello. How are you? Uh, right, so we want the Milg for uniform departure, I believe. We'll go for uniform. Yes, we do. Da, 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 da. Exec. Pretty straightforward. Take off, turn left a bit, go to Milgo. I have to transport 47 passengers. I think, uh, I think that might be a stretch. <laughs> So how many are watching already? Good grief. Uh, welcome to all of you. Yeah, I'm all right, thank you. It's all going terribly well. Uh, I had to restart the sim, had to reinstall the mod. Then I didn't know I was in Austria. I thought I was in Switzerland and was about to contact Swiss Radar. So I'm very glad I realized just in time. Um, and now, I'm get now we're going to have a look at the chart because why not? We can do this now. Um, if we go to the chart menu and then we press lower menu, then it should, it has, it's got it's got an airport chart we can have a look at. So let's select that for now. Uh, be, that will be Zanis, I imagine. Uh, so we can pan around the, the chart like that, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, transition altitude on the way up is 10,000 feet, Zanis. And we can zoom in and out 
So no longer do we need to rely on switching windows or me bringing up the, uh, the charts on a separate thing for you to have a look at. We can do it all in the sim, which I find very exciting. Yes, I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're right. Can we see today uh, contrails? I hope so. I hope so. Uh, we'll certainly look for them. Uh, so right, if we want to get rid of the chart, we just press chart again. Um, and if we want to change the chart, then we can go to the lower menu and we can have a look at our departure route, which would be more useful. And again, we have to use this slightly fiddly knob thing to pan around. But there you have it. So we can see our altitude constraints, or the only altitude constraint we have is that we have to be above 10, at or above 10,000 feet by Milgo. Um, it is cool, isn't it? It is cool. You want the chance to pop up in your TBM? Well, you'll have to petition working title to uh, do a TBM mod. <laughs> right, Milgo. It's not in there. So that's just, just as well we looked, isn't it? So we'll just type 10,000 and above or above. Oh, it's in there twice as well, so we can get rid of one of those. Clear it or delete. Bosch, done. We'll step through the flight plan while we're here to make sure there's nothing crazy going on. No, all looks pretty good. Um, and for now, I don't think we need any more from the chart. Yes, we do, 3,500, but that's already there, uh, although it's coming out at 3,500 or above, so we'll put that as 3,500 exactly instead. And we can put in the speed. Of course, we'll have to manage that ourselves and it will go horribly wrong because I'm hopeless at managing the speeds in this thing. Um, but we'll put it in as a little reminder. And I think that'll do us for now. So we'll close the... Oh, no, there's something else I want to show you with the charts. Working title are incredible, I know. No, he's, he's getting lost on taxis. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the best bit. How's the weather? Grim. Um, so I'll tell you, I'll have a look at the meta again because I've forgotten. But wind variable at two knots and it's showing no significant clouds. Uh, so the meta and the live weather disagree quite a lot. But uh, as we discovered on the last stream, sometimes the live weather can be more accurate than the meta. Vacaris, oh right, okay. Well, I hope, uh, I hope that fixes it. Um, what's next? Someone remind me what's next. No, I know, it's fine. Uh, we've done our flight plan page. We'll go to our perf page. Uh, we'll go to our perf init. Oh, and what I haven't done since restarting the sim is uh, set the fuel. So let me just check the flight plan. So sometimes 1576 departing Have a good flight, Zanis. Yeah, 1594, close enough. Um, we are cruising at flight level 430. So we'll go to our takeoff page. We'll put in the wind. We'll do it as 000 at two knots because there's virtually none, apparently. Although it does sound quite windy outside, it must be said. Uh, outside air temperature is 4. QNH is 1010. Uh, runway is dry. We'll go to the next page. Check our V speeds, which look sensible to me. We're going to turn anti-ice on though because of all the cloud and the low temperature. It's below 10 degrees. Send that. And you can get the meta in the MCDU. Can you? I didn't know that. You oh, sorry, you're talking about the, um, the Airbus, I guess, if it, MCDU. Or do you mean in here? Tell me. Is it under index? Data link? Weather? Ooh! <laughs> so we just put in uh, the airport, do we, I guess? L O W G. See, this is one of the things that Matt will hopefully be teaching me about on our next lesson. Uh, And then, and then where do I see it? Where do I see it? I guess it'll come up under receive messages, right? Mm. 
Good evening, Ribbon. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Why are you flying all the time with full payload? Uh, I'm not. <laughs> in short. Um, but I tend to I tend to have in terms of so if you look at my um, if you look at my weights and balance um, we we only on 50% payload and I tend to leave that be because it, it gives us two fairly light passengers and and six fairly light uh, sorry two fairly light pilots six fairly light passengers and a bit of baggage seems fairly typical for um, you know a, a business jet trip but nothing's coming up here. Oh, yeah. I don't need it. I don't need it. Oh, Marcus, thank you. Thank you very much. Go to weather and then view, you think. Okay. Data link, weather, and then view. Ah, okay. Oh, nothing's come up. Ah, I'm going to, I'll, I'll, I'll work this out. I'll work, well, I'll be shown. I won't work it out myself. I will be shown how to do this and I and will hopefully incorporate it in a future video. I don't need it for now because I've got my uh, weather in V pilot so it's not all that uh, that important. Just check the VNAV setup. Uh, so we're going to be cruising at 0.6, for, well climbing at 240 knots then 0.64. Transition altitude is not 6000, it's 10,000. We've done our uh, perf init. VNAV setup, perf init, done. Cruise 0.74300. But obviously we will be flying as close to the overspeed mark as possible. And I think we're pretty much good to go, aren't we? I think so. I think we are. So we'll close the chart. Switch over to um, present position. And the range looks pretty good. And we'll do our checklist. <coughs> so... Before start checklist, battery switch on, emergency light switch. We'll check that's armed, it should be. Yes, it is. Avionics switch is on. Standby flight display switch is on, and the standby flight display is on. Parking brake is set. Yes, it is. Wheel chocks are removed. Cabin doors closed. Passenger briefing's done. Seats, belts, and pedals adjusted and secure. Thank you again, Marcus. Thank you very much. <laughs> It's a little bit slow, isn't it, to pop up at the moment? I don't know why that is. <laughs> Wasted your week off outside walking around, finally get back to swimming. Good. That's, where you sh that's what you should be doing. Jason, I didn't even see you arrive. Nice to have you here, obviously. Uh, Speedbird2037, good evening. Yeah, I probably will do the return flight, actually. Um, I don't know when exactly. Um, probably not for at least a, a week and a half, something like that. But yeah, it was a good flight, and I'd like to do the return. Um, right, so we need to sort our lights out, don't we? Uh, so we'll turn on the nav light. We'll turn on the beacon light, because we're almost ready to go. Safety light and seatbelt light on. And we'll assume the uh, passengers have boarded. So we'll play the takeoff brief. Please fasten your seatbelt and shoulder harness at this time. May I have your attention, please? Welcome aboard the Citation CJ4 aircraft. Okay, exterior lights as required. ICAST checked. Everything's green. FMS checked. Climate control selector should be off. And it is. And now we'll do the start checklist. So throttles should be idle, and they are. Engine starter button. We'll start engine one first today. And we'll watch the engine start carefully. Another test. It's, wor it's working. It's working. <laughs> are, you, are you trying to get the pound euro exchange rate out of it, Marcus? <laughs> the poppins. <laughs> Do you know, I haven't checked lately. I haven't checked lately. <laughs> In the meantime, do I have any plans for any e other EasyJet flights before then? Um, I don't. I, I've got to be honest. This is probably going to be my last stream until the CRJ is released. So, uh, and then that will probably take precedence from Tuesday onwards. Um, but then after that, yes, I'll certainly be back in the A320 before too long. Okay. 
because of the possibility of unexpected turbulence. Sorry, I missed quite a lot of chat. That is complaining on a high level, you have to agree. Oh. <laughs> In your real life experience, that is only in 5%. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'll, I'll bear that in mind, Peter. I'll do, um, I'll lighten the load on a flight in future. Which one's a brilliant aircraft, Ben? What have I missed? What was that in reply to? Maybe it was me. Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, I've got a memory like a sieve. Uh, right, so we've done that. Da, 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 da. Right, so we started the engine. That's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Uh, it's all started nicely. We'll start the other engine. Why not? I enjoyed starting the first one. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> and we'll monitor the engine start this time properly. So N 2s rising. N ones rising. We have ignition. The CRJ should be released on Tuesday, LJ Vlogs. Nearly, Jenny, nearly. <laughs> how, how late are you working, Jason? Marvellous. Right, everything's in the green. Everything's looking good. We'll close the uh, button guards so that we don't inadvertently uh, mess them up. We'll disconnect external power now. I always forget to do that. And that's what checklists are for. Next mod set. Uh, ground power unit off. Back. Before taxi checklist, avionics switch on, climate control selector, normal. Passenger light safety button is on, has been for a while now. Trims will uh, will check and set after we cycle the autopilot. Autopilot. Turn the yaw damper off. And we want to be in the green band. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so do you do you fly do you fly the CJ4, Peter? Oh, thank you. That's that's a high praise indeed. Whether you, whatever your experience with the aircraft, um, it's largely thanks to Matt, I have to say, who gave who did my uh, initial training on it, and uh, we recorded a lesson together. And before that, I would say I flew it fairly. Uh, Fairly averagely, put it that way. Uh, I'm going to set an altitude of 3,500 feet. Or should we use VNAV to climb? It's very rarely done in the real world, I understand. So we won't, we won't. Ben wouldn't know about the 152, Jenny. He's, uh, he's always in Asda when it's time to fly that one. <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, so that's that done. Flight controls are fine. I know they're fine. Spree bait and ground spoilers retracted. Flaps will set um, whatever the first stage of flaps is called in this aircraft. <laughs> um, 15, isn't it, I think? Yep, flaps 15 set. Um, hydraulic pressure will be fine. Engine only anti-nice. Yeah, we'll put that on for sure because uh, it's cloudy up there. Oh, you've taken many rides in it. Okay, cool. Um, avionics checked and set. Well, we'll set the uh, I've set the altitude, and uh, we'll set the speed as well. We'll set two forty. No, we won't. We'll set two ten. Right, taxi checklist. Exterior lights. We'll turn on the taxi light. Release the parking brake, and uh, away we go. Oh dear, we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to slice through another pushback guy. Always the way. 
Manchester to Paphos or Larnaca is another summertime flight you could I could do. Yeah? Yeah? I'd be up for either of those. If there's scenery, I don't think there is a decent Paphos or Larnaca scenery at the moment. But I do I do love flying to uh Greek slash Turkish islands. Will you mind that to be in the corner? I don't know what you mean. Uh you have nine gigs to go. Nice getting there. All sat at the PC waiting for the beluga release. <laughs> yeah. Was that is when was that? Was that this Saturday or the one before? Get the old track IR up and running and uh, away we go. Grads ground Grads traffic, citation golf foxtrot Lima Bravo Tango, taxiing to hold short of runway three five centre. Tree, you're not making any sense. I'm sorry, you're going to have to go. <laughs> you should, you should, Steve. How are you finding it now? I know you had a few problems with the old uh, with the old Piper. Saturday just gone, wow. Feels like you've been at it for ages. I guess that's the thing with a good plane. I don't know where I'm going. I'm so glad there's no control online. <laughs> I've spent too long in front of this computer today. <clears throat> okay, yeah. That's where we're going. So we do have to backtrack from here. <laughs> I, I, it doesn't surprise me, Cattle. Thank you. <laughs> You're very good at this, uh, this moderation, Lark. Right, we'll stick the strobe lights on because we're about to enter the runway. Just going to have a quick check of uh, that spy. I don't suppose there'll be anyone in the vicinity, but you never know. No. Just Zanis in the distance having departed. Glad's traffic, citation, Golf Foxtrot, Lima, ba Bravo, Tango. Uh, backtrack and line up, runway 35 centre, class. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. And working title provide you with taxi maps. Yeah, what you mean the Navigraph ones? Yeah. But I do have it, I've got it on my iPad. I still find that slightly more convenient to be honest, to have it on a separate screen. No, I can't I can't see timers. I don't think I can see bands in Reams restream chat either, unless I do them myself. I'm not certain. No, you know I'm jealous of the beluga. <laughs> Kappel has his dolphin badge for him, mate. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I'll look out for that if I ever need to uh, go on a recruitment drive. <laughs> I'll test that out in the interview. Probably need Kappel to help me with the interview, but still. Is that a taxiway up a steep hill? Not the one we were on, or...? Oh, in the distance? No, it, I can't. I remember looking at that. I don't think it's a taxiway. I can't remember what it was off the top of my head. Okay, so we're done with it. We're almost done with the taxi. Before takeoff checklist. <laughs> Marcus, you're donating an awful lot in, very, in relatively small amounts today. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, Jason, sorry you have to go and work. See you soon, I hope. Do you want in, do you want in Ben? You are, you are very welcome to be a mod, obviously. Um, yeah, do you want to? I can make that, I can make that dream come true. Yes. 
Streamlabs is being even slower than usual today, but uh, thank you again, Marcus. In the synced mode, you're able having the radio page one screen on the other, your legs page, for instance. You sure? I might. I, I would assume that. Okay, nothing's working on this MCU. I, I'm not convinced. I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe that has been implemented, but um, I'm quite used to working with just the one uh, FMC. Okay, uh, before takeoff, checklist then. Ice protection systems, check. Rudder bias system, check. Seats upright and outboard, flaps checked. <laughs> Brilliant. When we're in the air, when we're in the air, Ben, I will do it. That's very kind of you, I appreciate it. Uh, crew briefing complete, TCAS. TARA, I'm going to do that. In. So I didn't. I don't know if you know this, but uh, this is something that people might be interested in. The uh, yeah, TCAS... reserve 205, holding short, 35, Charlie. Um, all right, better get going. <laughs> I didn't know there's anyone else about. Mode Charlie. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, J button push. Uh, battery amps checked. Ice protection systems. Pito static on. Grass traffic. Citation Golf Foxtrot Lima Bravo Tango taking off runway three five Charlie. Departure to the north. Let's go. Let's get out of this guy's way. wants to pull to the left even though there's virtually no wind positive rate gear up keep that uh, pitch at uh, 10 degrees nose up if possible Flaps retracted. We're going to arm flight level change mode and we're going to reduce Altitude. power. Because we want to stay at or below 3,500 until we've made this turn. And I believe we want it to be at 210 knots. Yeah, traffic is at 205, backtracking on the 3 to 100. And this down below us is is class itself, which has been update. Well, it's included in the Orbex uh, airport now, whereas it wasn't before. It's, it's a recent update. Oh, look at this! I'm doing more hand flying than I usually do. Have I got both engines on? Yes, I have. <laughs> Why? <laughs> So we can climb, we should be able to climb now, we've gone round this corner. So we'll arm flight level change mode, we'll put on nav and we'll go up to 10,000 feet. Autopilot on. and we want to climb at 240 knots. So we'll move the throttles up to the climb detent. And off we go. Let's have a little look outside. Altitude. What? Altitude? Oh yeah, I never finished setting my altitude. <laughs> A little bit of overspeed. Who was it who was saying how good my CJ4 streams are? <laughs> As I say, it's been a little while. It's been a little while. Back into flight level change mode, I think. Thank you. 
scroll back down to 240 knots. Got ahead of myself wanting to look outside and see the pretty stuff. Throttles back up to climb. And we'll go straight up to 430. Now we can have a look at the pretty views. I was a bit disappointed by how dark it was last time we arrived here because it is stunning and you just don't get to appreciate it by night. And what I'll do after a little bit of admiring the outside, I'll give you some wing views and I'll catch up on the chat. Do I find it hard to calibrate my throttle for the CJ4? Um, I do a little bit, yeah. So I, do, I don't have a proper throttle, I just use the cider on my joystick. So it's kind of a little bit tricky to, to use it <laughs> with anything that has notches, basically. And, and whenever you switch between planes, obviously it's that little bit harder to, to get used to it again. But I get there, it's mostly yeah, all right. Right, what did I mean? Oh yes, wing views. You want wing views, don't you? That's the wrong button. I'll just customise this one a little bit for you so you get a slightly better view. There we are. Right, what have I missed? Is there an independent operation of the MCDU planned? Ah, yeah, in the real aircraft you can run them separately or synced. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I'll find out for you though. Oh yeah, so I missed the first part of your message. It makes more sense. <laughs> there are three runways. Yeah, the other two are grass runways, though. <laughs> yeah, I prefer the word volunteering. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> no complaints from you, Jenny. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I nearly did have a Jason moment. Flaps? What about flaps? Flaps are up, aren't they? I know this was a long time ago. I'm rubbish at keeping up with the chat while I'm taking off. Yeah, flaps are up. I am just making sure all the warnings are working. <laughs> That's brilliant, Peter. Letting the overspeed beeping too long makes you the guy paying the bills. <laughs> I, if only that was the worst thing to happen to pilots if they left it over speeding too long. <laughs> You're welcome, Castle. <laughs> uh, sync means the two talk. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm aware there is there is a desync option. Now we're in the air. Let's let's just have a look. See if it works. I'm sure that's one of the settings. Um, so if we go to index. But I think this one just doesn't do anything, which is why I'd be surprised if it's implemented. But we'll have a look. Mod set. Is it FP? It can't be FP sync, can it? No. No, I, I, don't, I don't really know what FP sync is, I've got to be honest. Flight plan sync? Sync the flight plan between... I don't know. Let's see if there's any options on page two. Yeah, I, I, I've never, I've never seen it done where you can have them working independently. So I'm, I'm going to say it's probably not possible, but I'm not certain. Oh, thank you, Spartan Defence. I'm glad you found it useful. I, I am not a CJ4 master, despite having made the tutorial, tutorial, uh, tutorial video. I really need to watch it again, to be honest with you. Greetings to you in Aruba, Edward. Welcome to the stream. Sync flight plan to Microsoft Flight Simulator ATC. Right, thank you. That makes sense. <laughs> Non-beginner. 
Yeah, I describe myself as a non-beginner as well, I think. The trouble is, when you, when you get used to flying... So I tend to fly this in the A320 and sometimes the odd other thing, but once you get used to flying a particular aircraft and you go back and fly the other one or another one, it's just really... It's really hard to remember what you're doing, I find. And I guess that's why pilots are only type rated on one aircraft at a time. Right, let me sort out your, um, your mod status, Ben. Hang on. See if I can remember. You might have to instruct me on this. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sure I can do it. First of all, I need to get your channel URL, I think. Or something. Which is not youtube.com slash c slash fightzilla. I found you. Now I go on to YouTube Studio. And... Oh, it's a bit bumpy, isn't it? Good job we didn't turn the seatbelt sign off. I thought that might be the case, you see. Uh, and then... Settings? Yeah, settings, I think. Community. Oh, permissions. There it is. Oh, no, that's not it. Community. Paste. There you are. Should be done. Should be done. If you remember rightly, in, it's under index and there must be an LSK called FMS control. So I've got to ask Peter, how come you spend your life flying around in CJ4s? This sounds like a very glamorous existence. <laughs> sorry Scott, sorry. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Index. Ah, oh, yeah, it's greyed out though. So it's th so it's there, but it's not active. Very interesting. You learn something every day. So although it's greyed out, you can click on it, but then the actual option doesn't work. Never mind. You're very welcome. I'd have offered you the moderatorship ages ago if I knew you had any interest in it at all. It's uh, it's very good to have you aboard. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, don't let it go to your head even if even if Jenny does bow down before you. <laughs> Ground ops and incentive rides. Ah, okay, cool. Nice. I'll sort it out on uh, on the Discord server as well. Two for the price of one. You do. There is a third mod, but he's lost interest, Jenny. There were supposed to be two all along, but I never see Kevin anymore. He's busy with school and stuff and such, I think. <laughs> I trust you. I trust you. Oh, Contrails, let's have a look. Let's have a little look. Yes. Yes, Contrails. Honestly, I've been so busy since this sim update came out that I haven't even looked for them. But there they are. This upper layer of clouds looks a bit rubbish, I must say. I mean, normally, I mean, everything below us looks beautiful, but these are a little bit... Well, dare I say it, dare I say it, explainy. Of 
crisscross. Um, I, I, I've got to say no. I, I've known Ben for a very long time, and the same with Caffel and with um, Kevin. They've they've been there more or less since I started my channel and had no subs. So I, I, I'm a little bit wary about adding people I don't know very well, basically. And I don't think I need more than three anyway. But thank you for the offer. My top bar is frozen. Yes, it is. I'll tell you why that is. Because when you shut down the sim, it automatically shuts down FSU IPC, uh, which is required for the top bar to work. That should have fixed it. Yes, it seems to have, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it is. I've always assumed that's the wind. Yeah, that would make sense. So we've got a, a, a 90 knot wind from sort of 10 o'clock, something like that. So yeah, that, that sort of makes sense to me. Right, let's get a bit more, uh, bit more range on the old MFD. That's what it's called. Trails should be affected the same way. But they're, they're quite a lot. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I don't, I saw, my assumption was that because the contrails are much lighter than the aircraft and because the aircraft is at an angle to the wind. So you'll notice that our nose is, is not pointing towards our waypoint to counteract the wind. That... Yeah, the contrails would be blown and they would appear to be at a, at a different angle to the aircraft. But I'm no physicist, so I might be totally wrong. That's what 320 sim pilots said. <laughs> yeah, um, you'd say X-Plane looks better. I'll, um, well... I'll have another look at one of your streams. <laughs> Rodrigo, hello, I've spotted you this time. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. No, I... Right, so here's what I think. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and explain it better. So our plane is pointing slightly to the left of our course. And... But we're flying we're moving in the same in the opposite direction to the to the contrails not that the contrails are moving behind us but we're moving away from the contrails following their line so i don't think that is inaccurate but perhaps someone uh perhaps someone yeah maybe 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 i'm just wrong maybe i'm just wrong roland hello you just joined and scrolled a bit back to the charts question does it automatically load the correct chart based on the airport and the departure route in the FMS. Yes, it does. Not only does it load the correct chart based on the um, airport, but it also loads the correct chart based on the SIDs and STARS that you've selected. So if we go to the back to the chart page and um, go to the lower menu again, then you'll notice that the charts it's pre-selected are the departure chart that I've chosen, the departure routing that we've chosen in the um, CDU. So that was the Milgo 4 uniform. If we want to look at a different chart. All right. So also while we're here, the destination airport, we haven't chosen an arrival and approach yet, but we have, we do know the airport. So it's automatically picked the right one for us there. Uh, ENCN. If we want to look at the full list of departure charts, then we can press and hold this button here and then we can choose any one we want. So it's, you've got, it's got the best of all worlds, really. It'll automatically pick the right ones for you. If you change your mind or you just want to have a nose at other charts, you can do that. So there you have it. <laughs> good question, Scott. Very good test. I'm all right, Rodrigo. Thank you. How are you? Why are you sad? <laughs> yes, 
Yeah, so so this plane, well, uh, we're not climbing that fast anymore, to be honest. We're only doing 1,100 feet per minute. But it can easily climb, depending on its weight, at 3,500, 4,000 feet per minute uh, when, it's, when it's lower down. Because it's very powerful, basically. Uh, it's, a well it's a place for well-cultured people to get together, drink wine and talk about the finer matters of life. <laughs> That's a pretty good description. But also, Ben, based on your... Um, your advice on the last stream I've actually done I haven't tried it yet but I've done this no, it doesn't work <laughs> it doesn't work oh what about the other ones that I did altitude no nothing's working oh yes it is it's just not coming up in restream chat awesome <laughs> So yeah, so it's also that. <laughs> oh, it's a bit long, sorry. Uh, I'm spamming my own chat now. I'll stop. <laughs> I thought it hadn't worked, but I'd forgotten about the delay. So we're coming up to our cruising altitude now, flight level 430. Yeah, the restream chat I like because it allows me to put it on the, on the video. And I like it because I can it's quite big and I can read it better than the YouTube window, but it doesn't half lag. <laughs> Do I know anyone that is doing Nice Côte d'Azur Airport? Uh, there, there is a developer who has done uh, Nice Côte d'Azur Airport by the name of Deimos Inc. <laughs> uh, but also, also, thanks to Caffel, I know this, it's going to be one of the handcrafted airports, I think made by um, Gaia Simulation in the next world update. So my advice would be to hold off, hold off for that. <laughs> I will, I'll watch myself, I'll watch myself. <laughs> uh, you can also do exclamation mark specs and exclamation mark donate. donate. <laughs> yeah, so I, as I say, hopefully, hopefully it'll be in the next world update. Although I, I also imagine that Justin will be doing it, to be honest. Am I a real world player? No, I'm not, I'm afraid, no. I have a little bit of real world experience. I did 15 hours in a Cessna 152 many moons ago and I would like to get my private license after after the pandemic's over but no, I'm not. I'm purely a sim pilot. Do I know what other handcrafted will be in the update? Let me let me look it up. Let me look it up. Hold on. What channel did you post it in Cavill? See, in general chat, probably. Yes, uh, Megev, LFHM, Rotterdam The Hague, Airport, e EHRD, and, and Nice. And in addition, Orbex has been involved to help fix over a hundred other airports. But those are the three, three handcrafted ones. Oh, he's off again. You must be uh you must be missing your piper a bit, aren't you, Steve? <laughs> oh, thank you, Captain. You'd be surprised. I've seen I've seen real pilots on telly taxiing the wrong way and having to go back on themselves. So I really I feel I would fit in quite nicely. No, nothing in Belgium. I'd really like a good Brussels. Although I'm pretty sure um, um, Aerosoft are going to bring out Brussels. Pretty sure it's uh, another Joe Erland jobby, which means it will be amazing. Hello, Darren. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Maybe a more scenic view. Maybe. Maybe. How's that? 
I've got to keep an eye on the speed there because otherwise we'll get another uh, over speed warning yeah that's right yeah it was that uh, I quite liked her that female captain yeah it got muddled up <laughs> made me feel a lot better about myself <laughs> yes I'm pretty sure I've, yeah I'm sure Aerosoft are making buses but they don't seem to be uh, moving particularly quickly Brandenburg's been in the works for six months Oh, did you? Did you? Nice. I had a version in P3D, I can't remember who did it. I think it was so-so in P3D, but it was one of the better add-on airports for FS2004. Now those were the days. Yeah, exactly, exactly. She had, she had interpersonal skills, which is not necessarily that common, I think, in, in their airline pilots. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. I'm all right, Darren. Do I know which is the MDA of Cologne? No, but I can look it up for you. Which runway? I guess so, but you'd have you'd have thought there'd be totally different people working on each, wouldn't you? Okay, so for the ILS runway two four for a Cat C, it's five hundred and thirty nine feet. You don't have to get Navigraph. Chart Fox is pretty good. Um, some of the charts are a little bit out of date, but if, if it's just charts you want and you're not that fussed about having a fancy, easy to use interface, uh, as you're on VATSIM anyway, it's, it's easy to access and it works much the same. I think it's just chartfox.org. The question is, what is after the CRJ? I think... Oh, sorry, I've missed uh, yours, uh, Exa. Do I think Navigraph is worth getting? Um, yeah, I do. I do. I think... So it used to be a lot better value when you... As well as the nav data, you also got all of the FMS updates for... Um, sorry, as well as the charts, you got nav data updates for all of ver the various add-on aircraft that were available. Whereas now everything uses the in-sim nav data, or well, you can use the in-sim nav data, it's slightly worse value, but I certainly wouldn't be without it. It just makes life much simpler. After the CRJ, aircraft-wise, I don't know. I really hope it's the 787. That's what I'm hoping for. How does the aircraft determine how long it will take to descend to a particular altitude? Well, it looks at how far it has to go to that altitude I guess you're talking about VNAV in a plane like this it, it looks at how far it has to go to that particular altitude it knows that it wants to descend on a three degree path um, it looks at your speed and and it works it out from that basically you just crashed a plane and glitched oh no I'm sorry to hear it what, what were you flying Right, as soon as my speed is pretty pretty stable, it's a little bit slow at the moment, I'm going to try and get it a little bit higher, we'll go back to some more scenic views. But for now, actually, we can do a bit of that at least, you can see the nose. Ah, uh, not an easy plane to fly.
I can't see myself on that spy. Hmm. Oh, there I am. Okay. So in terms of upcoming control, we've got Bremen online. And at the moment we've got a bit of Euro control north. And then we also have Polaris control online. So with a bit of luck, although they'll probably go to bed before we get there, <laughs> we might have ATC for the arrival. So that'll be nice. <laughs> When did, did you crash it? I know I only made it for the, your second arrival. But I presume you survived the first. I haven't seen any crashes lately. I've had a string of really dreadful landings in the A32NX. Really dreadful landings. But I, I think I've broken the curse with the last one. I hope, anyway. Where are you flying from and where to? I'm flying from Graz to uh, Kristiansand in Kristiansand in Norway. Yeah, do, do check out my vid for the charts. It took me, like, a very, very long time and hardly anyone's watched it. <laughs> it's the video I spent longest on out of everything I've done and it's the least popular. So, yeah, any, any views are greatly appreciated. <laughs> but even if you don't watch it, you, there are links underneath it for where you can get charts for free. It, was it a full-on crash? Gosh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, because we saw that other, someone else arrived and it was like there were carrier arrest strips on the runway, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, good, good. I'm glad you're getting into it. Oh, thank you, Scott. I appreciate that. I think the airspeed's pretty stable at 204, 205 knots. It's going to bounce around a little bit because of the wind, but we'll see a little bit more scenery. Hey, Den, welcome to the stream. How are you? You're on your way down already. Nice. Has Vatsim Audio improved? I haven't been using Vatsim for all that long, to be honest with you. It hasn't changed in the time I've been using it, but I, I guess I've only been on there for three months, maybe? Something like that. I always used offline ATC add-ons in the past. And to be honest, I only went on there because all of you lot wanted me to. And I'm glad, I'm glad I listened, because it, <laughs> it is much more immersive. Yeah, it's a beautiful flight. It is lovely. Do you want to see our route? I bet you do. I bet you do. I'll bring up Navigraph so we can have a good look. A 
I'll reload the flight so it's got our charts on there. Oh no, it's the wrong flight. <laughs> That's the flight. So we took off like this, you may remember, the beautifully executed and hand flown left turn. Uh, we flew northwest, up and up all the way over Austria. We're currently over the Czech Republic or Czechia. We'll be crossing into Germany, flying a bit of a wiggly route, so uh, southwest of Berlin, uh, up to Wittenberger, then turning northeast and coasting out near Rostock. We'll have a little look at Rostock if I remember. Sorry for the pronunciations, I know we have at least two Germans on this evening. I, I can't say anything at all about that, Steve. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Much as I would like to. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, it totally put me off my stride, that question. I'll play for Rostock. And then, what's this? This is uh, Denmark. A few Danish islands. Not going anywhere near Copenhagen today, I don't think. But... Um, not too far and then up again and Christian Sand is on the southeast coast of Norway and this is our arrival route it's pretty much uh, another little wiggle and it should set us up for an arrival onto runway 21 there you have it who's Aerolimp? I don't even know where I am. Oh, I do. I know what you mean. Yeah, sorry. Why do you call them Aerolim? <laughs> oh, because of soft. I've just got it. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, dear. Tell you what we could do, uh, we're well above the clouds at the moment, we no longer need the anti-ice on. And it's finally smoothed out, so I think we'll let the passengers get off. Get off? Not off. They're not getting off in the middle of uh, 43,000 feet. But we can let them get out of their seats at least. Yeah, they didn't say who had it though, I'm still a little bit, um, you know, a little bit... Um, I, don't know what the, I don't know what the rules are, I know I've been explicitly banned from talking about the product. Um, anyway, we'll leave it there. <laughs> we'll leave it there. I don't know if I've got that setting on or off, to be honest. No, I've got realistic uh, ATC audio effects on. I'm looking forward to the uh, higher resolution cabin that uh, they're working on. In the meantime, 
we'll do that. Glorious. And I think it's probably time for a little bit of uh, in-cruise music. And I don't know about you, but I'm in the mood for a little bit of Cora. true Morton it's true it comes to something when as a native English speaker you find it easier to fly in countries where non-native English speakers are speaking English but it is what I haven't done at any point during this flight I haven't asked people to subscribe and uh, I should have done because that's how you get subscribers if you're enjoying the stream click the subscribe button click the notifications bell and then you'll be the first to hear about uh, about upcoming streams upcoming videos all that sort of thing um, which just improves your life immeasurably um, take it from me <laughs> and uh, all the other things you can do if you want to be really really supportive of the channel uh, are you can join Club Filbert which we talked about a little bit earlier that's a um, YouTube membership program which allows you to for a small monthly donation access certain perks so I have two tiers Club Filbert Bronze gives you uh, very very nice and fetching uh, member badges as you will see the likes of Steve uh, Flightzilla Morton and various others displaying proudly next to their names. Uh, it gives you custom emojis which you can use in the chat and in video comments <laughs> and you and it gives you what else what else does it give you oh yeah access to two exclusive channels on my discord server um, which are really where where the really good chat happens and uh, additionally if you if you want more than that and why wouldn't you can't have too much of a good thing uh, Club Philbert Silver is a tier above it and that gets you in addition a private members only live stream once a month so if you want to know more about that click the join button down below or you can just make a one-off donation by going to streamlabs.com slash philbertflies and whichever of those options you choose I will love you considerably more than I do at the moment Oh, nice. Have a good, uh, have a good arrival, uh, Jenny. <laughs> and I hadn't. <laughs> oh dear. See, the trouble is, the trouble is, I wouldn't need to do any of that if people knew about the exclamation mark club filbert command. But it's probably. It's not something you would instantly think of trying, is it really?
<laughs> Excellent, thank you, Flightzilla. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> it's quite long, isn't it? I should, I should do. Um, yeah, I should look at thinning that out. I think. Oh, I've just been disconnected from Vatsim. It's odd. Did I do something wrong? Have I been banned? No, I'm back on, it's fine. <laughs> oh, I think I must have had a little blip in my connectivity because Restream Chat isn't working either. Ugh. Oh. No, it is. It's just a bit delayed, I think. <laughs> it's not. Oh, oh, peekaboo! Five pounds. More love is good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely, and 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 I can feel it growing in my heart right now much appreciated <laughs> yeah I don't know what's going on with the old chat because it didn't, it didn't pop up Jenny's message about getting bounced around like crazy. It didn't pop up Flightzilla's Wahoo. It's very odd. And it didn't show any of the um, bot stuff. I guess it's not meant to show any of the bot stuff. I'm going to have to have a look at the chat settings. stream now it's not that notifications filtering I haven't even got anything set it's got options to hide common chatbots and hide commands starting with exclamation mark but it's not on weird oh well I'll just have to keep an eye on that and the uh, main YouTube window Where's the, where's the champagne? Well, I can't even remember why we would, why would we be having champagne? Remind me. It has reminded me that it might be time for a beer though. So if that's any consolation, you can, you can picture me drinking a beer. It's not quite the same as you drinking champagne. all right I'm back on I'm back on he tried his best but they know who I am up there they'd never let that happen <laughs> we're about to enter Bremen radars area of control so we better get ready oh there's two there's two covering airspace east of Hamburg and covering airspace west of Hamburg oh no it's three. Oh Christ I better wait for a contact me I don't know how this works Deister Zektor maybe Volanta can give us a clue it tends to be more specific than that spy doesn't it yes indeed it is EDWWH centre 128.85, get that ready. No, 125.85. Stupid. 
And we may as well squawk 2000, I guess, so they don't get the wrong idea. Oh, hello, Bailey, you're back, you're back. Welcome back. And you're back, Demetrius, hello. You like the old FSX liveries, Ken Kenmore? I don't remember them. He is, yeah, he is. Decided he'd proven himself. Can I take a Bravo on the Kremlin radar 1,000 Oh, okay. I, I, did, I didn't fly FSX for that long, to be honest. I flew FS2004, tried FSX, found it too buggy, stopped simming for several years, and then came back like eight years later with P3D. Calming sounds of ATC. Yeah, so far. Lufthansa 016, uh, report indicated the airspeed. Lufthansa 016, and uh, request from previous sector, speed 280 DK. Roger. Right, I'm just going to turn the music down a little. I'm going to speak to you. Indicated airspeed. Indicated airspeed 280, Roger. I'm going to speak to you. Thank you, reduce speed uh, 270. Reducing 270, Bremen radar, good Abend. Citation Golf Foxtrot Lima Bravo Tango at flight level 430, uh, inbound Mosex. Uh, station calling. Uh, actually, I can't see on my radar screen here. What's your actual position? We are entering your sector from the south in between waypoint Bolbo and waypoint Mosex. Golf Force Lima Bravo Tango. Yeah, Golf Force Tango, unfortunately, um, I'm not responsible for this sector. I guess the controller isn't available at the time. So I'll continue in Unicom for now. Oh, Roger, apologies. Uh, over to Unicom. Citation Golf Force Lima Bravo Tango. Thank you. Bye bye. No worries. So long. Right. Well, there we are. Don't trust Volanta. <laughs> The rich folk in the right. Sorry, you, 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 yeah. the rich folk in the cabin of coughing champs and eating beluga and blinis, and the pilot cracks open the tin. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, nice. That's a, that's a good. It's a good bit of profit for a relatively short flight, isn't it? No, 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 I wasn't in trouble. I wasn't in trouble. He's very understanding. Very understanding. I'm going to show I'm going to show you Valanta to prove why that, you know. I I why I thought I was doing the right thing. Stand by. Stand by. Right. So here we are with this purple plane here. And this is EDWWH center allegedly. Uh, on one two five decimal eight five. So, uh, what else can you do? Well, you can wait for a contact me, I suppose. Yeah, oh, yeah. As Moulton said. <laughs> ben, no, no, you're not allowed to give me money. <laughs> oh, but thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. And Sue Habe, you gave me money as well. Thank you very, very much indeed. <laughs> I'll spend it wisely, Ben. I'll spend it wisely. <laughs> yeah, they came through in the wrong order for some reason. Anyway, thank you both. I appreciate it.
And Sir Ned, thank you. I didn't know you were here. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much indeed. And Darren, thank you as well. Gosh, you're all being very, very generous tonight. It's, it's uh, very much appreciated. And I will put it all to good use. Which could be beer, could be, could be, um, Ishan. Oh, did it? Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. I don't even know what currency that is. That's an exotic symbol. <laughs> oh, yeah, so everything's coming through. Oh, blimey. And another two pounds Suhaib. Thank you. Oh, I'm very touched by all of this. It, it's, uh, it's, it's absolutely not necessary. But really, it's, it's really nice to, to get. So, thank you. Oh, oh, who's... And is this just... Is it... Hang on, hang on. There's too much going on. Darren, you donated again. Have a sausage roll on you. I will... Ah, oh, wow. NASA, thank you very much indeed for the 10, 10 Danish kroner, is that? Has there just been some kind of lag? Did you all donate ages ago? Or is it just replaying? I don't know what's going on. Everyone just keeps giving me money, <laughs> which is nice. Thank you. Thank you again, Marcus. Wow, this is amazing. I've had like, don't know, 10, 15 donations last test. <laughs> Thank you. I see. I can't even go and get a beer because of the uh, the pace of of donations. I am getting closer to a million pounds. You, oh, is everything coming through from the past? But I still hadn't noticed it. I think you're right. Hang on. So so Marcus don't. I've got like three donations, four donations from Mar Marcus an hour ago. Then peekaboo, 11 minutes ago. Some of the... Oh, yeah, I think you're right. But I wasn't aware of Sinens. I wasn't aware of Darren's. I wasn't aware of Ishan's. So anyway, I just hope you're all here still to... Um, to, be, to be thanked. <laughs> <laughs> it has morphed into a fruit machine. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and get a beer. I'm going to go and get a beer now. I feel I deserve it. You obviously think I do. Right, I have my beer. I'll catch up with the chat now. Oh, no worries, Ben, no worries. Send your mum my love. That's weird, Dame, she doesn't know who I am. <laughs> Ludwig, you're back after a decent landing into Vienna with a non-working ILS. Awesome, well done, well done. So, is there a tablet here as well? Yes, there is. Oh, no, there isn't. No, I forgot what plane has in. No, no tablet here. Maybe I'm above that radar control. Doesn't when you when you check their ATIS information, it doesn't mention a an upper altitude or anything. You haven't done. Oh right, so the hang on, hang on. I've just seen your message. You haven't actually donated. So is this all just coming through from previous streams then? Oh, this, that's rubbish. If this is all coming, if this is all just repeating messages, notifications from previous streams, then it's very broken, isn't it? Anyway, anyway, for any of you who are here who donated on a previous stream and didn't get a notification, 
At least you've got one now. You found a heath. Eleven slash three two one, just to be sure, and even more love. Twenty. Oh, that's definitely now. <laughs> Thank you, Peekaboo. Yeah, and you do definitely get more love for that. <laughs> oh, you're very generous. Thank you. Uh, my donation ticker in the corner doesn't work. It doesn't deal with super chats. It only deals with um, Streamlabs donations. So I'd, I'll keep an eye on it. I must have pressed the wrong bot. Yeah. You found a Heathrow plane spotter that is every day in the morning. He's like a hero. It's the best thing to do during online classes. Oh, nice, nice. Lately, lots of ILSs haven't been working for you. Oh, really? Is that since the sim update? Better late than never. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, if anyone else donates, put the date on it like Peekaboo did and then <laughs> I'll know. Yeah, I have to say, I think a lot of these people aren't actually here. I remember NASA donating. I think I remember Nishan donating. Marcus definitely donated today, but it came through twice, I think. Anyway, whatevs. Whatevs. Do you, do you mean that it just doesn't pick up any signal? Or are they, like, misplaced, like I had on the approach to COS the other day? Misaligned sort of thing. Well, Zanis was saying that the um, Christian Sand is uh, really poor visibility at the moment, so I hope this ILS works. I mean, the meta says that there's no clouds, but you can't trust it. So Steve, I never, um, I never thanked you for the nice message you said about as you sent about my uh, streams. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. It, it came through in the middle of when I was realising that not everything was coming through on uh, on restream. But uh, yeah, it was very nice. In the A328, when you turn the on, no purple dots appear. Okay, okay, so they're just totally not working at all. That's rubbish. Bailey, welcome back, welcome back.
Yes, everything's going pretty pretty swimmingly. You haven't missed much, Bailey, other than a few notifications popping up from days ago, which is odd. Uh, I'll bring I'll bring the map up so you can see where we are. Oh, wrong button, wrong button. We're about halfway now, as you can see from the bar at the top. Oh, I've got too many windows open. There we are, that's the one I want. So we're flying up over northern Germany at the moment. And we'll shortly be heading out over the sea. Overhead Denmark and then into Christiansand. No, but it's just weird how it works at, for example, Gothenburg. Yeah, yeah, that is odd. This sim is a strange beast. I've got Navigraph uh, Beta Nav Data installed. Just wanted to say that me and Ben are very good streamers. Oh, thank you. That's really nice to hear. Thank you, buddy. Letado, hello. I'm doing very well. How are you? A fan of Germany, really. I've got to say, I don't. I haven't been to much of it. I, I, I've been to Berlin and Munich, and where else? I've been to Frankfurt, and I have to say, I enjoyed all of those cities. It's a big country. I'd like to see more. Is Marcus still here? I might come to Stuttgart one day and have an in-person tour. <laughs> I haven't flown the A32NX since the world update. So, so not the world update, the sim update, so I'm not too sure. Navigraph fixes a lot of issues like that. Yeah, I have to say in the early days I found it created almost as many problems as it solved. And I haven't really kept up with the development, but I, I just left it alone for a few months and since reinstalling it, it does seem to be a lot better. You do like Germany, you haven't been there before, but you like watching the German football. Ah, okay. Cool. I was before I knew I knew you, Morton. If I was there now I would totally say hi. <laughs> Navigraph itself doesn't change the sim, um, but there's they're doing a beta of of a nav data add-on for the sim which is a sort of separate thing to their charts and everything else uh, which you can install and basically replaces the nav blue nav data with their own jeppesen based nav data oh hang on I'm trying, I'm trying to customize a wing view for you it's not going very well <clears throat> Oh yes, yes, yes. I love, I love a bit of wheat there. Also, well, because you're a streamer. Oh, that's nice here. Thank you. <laughs> Do I like Norway? I've only been to Oslo, and I did like Oslo a lot. Uh, but we went for New Year, so it was, it was very, very cold and icy, and my friend broke her wrist. But we were very impressed with the, uh, with the hospital we went to. <laughs> I've got to be honest, Ludwig. I'm not going to have time to fly the A32NX for a little while. I've just got a lot on, I'm afraid. Um, and then of course on Tuesday is the CRJ release, so I think I'll be doing quite a lot of streaming of that for a little while. Um, but I'll certainly, I'll go back to the A32NX probably, yeah, probably next week sometime. No, I didn't know that LJ blokes, no. That's exciting, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully not too exciting. The only non-Greece countries you've been to are the UK, Bulgaria and Romania. Alright, oh, cool. I've never been to Bulgaria. I've been to Romania but only very briefly. Finally passed the mountains and things of some of that. Great, great. 
Yeah, it is a lovely aircraft. Do you have any plans to get to get a PC or anything, Bailey? I have been to Sweden, uh, yeah, I've been to Stockholm, loved it. Oh yeah, yeah, I've played x Plane Mode, but it's good fun though, it's good fun. Yeah, the CRJ release is a big day, big day. I am planning on doing a giveaway stream, but I, I don't yet know at what time it's going to be released, so I don't want to sort of set something up and uh, only to have to postpone it. But yeah, I'll set, I may do it on the Wednesday. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure that's sure yet, but join the Discord if you haven't already and I'll announce it there first once I've got everything in place. Munich to Birmingham, yeah, that would be a good flight. Is that is that a real world flight? I, I'm trying to find a um, trying to find sort of a list of of either current or historic flights, and it's quite hard. I've got a few planned, mostly in uh, Air France hop colours, um, but I have heard that that CRJs do go to Birmingham. I just can't find any actual live data about it. Uh, do I know what Christian Sand is known for? No, no, I don't. Tell me. Have I ever thought about doing a stream with somebody? I have. I have. I did one with Kevin uh, a little while back, and we'll probably do probably do another one. I've been talking to Ben about doing this as well. In fact, we've both done a lot of talking about it, but we haven't uh, haven't got our act together yet to actually sort it out. But yeah, we'll certainly do more. Yo, thank you, LJBuds. I'd appreciate it. Oh, you, oh, right, yeah, you're waiting for it to be released on Xbox. Cool. Where in Sweden did I go? Just Stockholm. Just Stockholm. Oh, nice. Do you know, I went to Arad in Romania, which is sort of right on the western edge, when I was 18, and I was doing an interrail trip with um, my friend. And it was one of those places, things where you just look at a map, look at the timetable, or where should we go next? And we thought we'd go to Romania. Arad, I'll tell you now, is not really worth a visit. Uh, we really did want to go to see Castle Dracula in, in, um, and go into the mountains and all the rest of it. But it's just a very, very long way in and it didn't make sense on our trip to do it. You did, Demetrius, yeah. Hello, Easy, EasyJet Sim Pilot original. Welcome to the stream. Are you allowed to suggest flights? Yeah, anyone can suggest flights, but I have to be honest. Um, I've got a very, very long list of them somewhere on a sticky note. So suggest away, um, but I can't make promises. And also, my thing is that I only I only do flights to airports that have decent add-on scenery, whether that's freeware or payware, so I'm a bit fussy. But yeah, what, what are you thinking? Stockholm to Billund are operated in SAS CRJ. Yeah, it's SAS have loads of CRJ 900 routes. And I'm trying to think about whether I can... <laughs> I am. I'm going to fly them in the 700. I was sort of umming and ahhing about whether I want to be super realistic and only do currently operated CRJ 700 routes, but there are hardly any of them. Frankfurt to Dublin CRJ. Is that a real route? Seems quite long, but uh, I'd, I'd like to do it. I'll um, I'll add it to my list if it is a real route. I can't even find my list now. <clears throat> right, notes list. Ah, here we are. Right, I'm going to start a separate CRJ list. Okay, awesome. Uh, Frankfurt, Frankfurt to Dublin. And you were saying Munich, was it Munich? Yeah, Munich to Birmingham.
Bristol to Alicante. I think someone is bringing out an Alicante scenery, aren't they? Uh, it's not out yet, but I'll, I'll make a note. Bristol to, La to Alicante. Um, for when the scenery is out. Done on the list. Lufthansa 2508. Where did you find that? I think I'm looking in the wrong places. Yeah, I see it. Ah, uh, it's in a 900. I think I think I may have only been looking for 700 routes. But yeah, um, I'll yeah done. It's on the list. DLH two five zero eight. EDDM two. What's Birmingham? EG EGBB isn't it? On the list. You're already at Cologne. Cool. Was it a good flight? It's a good part about SES that they have three hubs and lots of routes in each country. And Sweden and Norway has lots of small airports. Yes. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I've missed a lot. You've been in Romania for around a week, but you don't remember the name of the city. Okay. Did you have a good time there, anyway? Christian Sand is known for Captain Sabretooth. Ah, interesting. Definitely not googling who Captain Sabretooth is. Tom! Good grief, man! Fifty pounds! I, oh, Tom! I, I'm really, I'm really touched. That's so kind of you. Thank you very, very much indeed. Thank you. One of our favourite... Oh, is TDM doing it? TDM, awesome. Awesome. Kai, you're off to bed. No problem at all. You sleep well. I do know the rules, yeah. I've eaten, don't you worry. <laughs> Montpellier to Orly and then back to two line up. Ludwig, that is exactly what I'm planning to do for my first stream. <laughs> so my plan is, as long as I can get this giveaway sorted out, um, what I want to do is give away two copies of the CRJ because Tom's very kindly agreed to contribute one for me to give away on the channel, which is immense. Um, and uh, yeah, and I'm going to buy one. And uh, so we'll we'll do one per leg, a bit like I did with the Orbex, uh, with the Orbex jobby. Um, can't wait for MFSFS to be released on Xbox. Hope it runs smooth. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm sure it will. You may have to, I don't know, you might have to turn your settings down a little bit or something, but they're not going to release it if it's not able to run properly. Do Munich in a Wednesday evening so you'll have some traffic on that soon. That's not a bad idea. Uh, it depends how competent I feel with the CRJ by the time I do it. I might pick a very quiet time. If you Google Munich to Birmingham, for example, and then add fly terror. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. But how did you find out that there was that route, that that route existed in the first place? Like, because you could just type in any combination of airports and hope for the best, couldn't you? That's what I don't know. So I tend to use Random Flight Finder or Worldwide Virtuals. Um, route finder or you know or, or I look at sort of booking sites like the one that uh, Sukhoi recommended whose name I've forgotten uh, that's how I find future flights so flight connections but it's very hard to just find out where all of the European CRJ routes are Sam hello and Dusty Fox hello for, hello to you in Kansas welcome to the stream Am I joining Ben's stream on Sunday? Uh, I, I will try to pop in. 
I got quite a lot else on on Sunday. I, I, I always love popping into Ben's streams and um, I, I would recommend them to anyone. Uh, but it depends. Where he, where's he flying? I said more than Captain Kennedy, but he got a $1,000. Good grief. That's bananas. <laughs> Samson, I can't remember if I said hello to you. If not, hello. Nice to see you. How are things? <laughs> what, uh, sorry, what time of the year was I in Sweden? It was spring or summer. It was quite warm. It was nice. I, I, I'm not on Twitch, Sam. I'm not on there. You use flight radar and on the route section on an airline or airport for any flights you fly. Hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. So you, you like, choose an airport and then look at the routes from it, you mean? That's what I did in, like, the pre-COVID times, but now there's virtually nothing flying. You want a nice route that... Hop operates with the CRJ. Well, I recommend um, I recommend Paris Orly to Toulon, which is what I'm going to be doing for uh, my second flight. Gatwick to Chamel Shake. Nice, good good bit of. Uh, is that long haul or is it medium haul? I don't know, but good long flight, I'm sure. Alric, hello, welcome to the stream. How are you? Short one would be Ibiza to Barcelona, Iberia. Yeah, this is the thing. I have been focusing specifically on routes that are flown by the 700. But the reality is that in Europe, there, there just aren't any. <laughs> More or less, it's only now Air France Hop that's operating that aircraft. Um, so I may have to diversify and just accept that I'm going to be flying some 900 routes in the 700. Um, Yeah, in fact, I think I will. But there's, there, there are loads of them in the US, so I'll probably do a bit more US flying as well. Anyway, I'll add that to my CRJ 900 routes list. I think the sad fact is that once the, um, once the 900 and 1000 expansion pack comes out, I'll probably barely fly the 700. Yeah, he is doing well, isn't he? he bear ben, he is. It's good to see. Careful, you're back. There was a fifty. There was a fifty. Yes, there was a fifty pound donation from Tom. There was. Unbelievable. I uh, yeah. I yeah. I d yeah. I didn't know what to say then. Don't know what to say now. But I'm yeah. It's great. <laughs> Little broken in the legs, what happened? A friend of yours has lived with Apex. He's live with Apex. Oh, right, okay. I see. Sorry, I thought you were talking about this stream. Threw me for a minute. Five hours, yeah. Where except Air France Hop. Tom, you've done it again. <laughs> Tom, you're such a generous, generous man. Oh, that's uh, thank you, thank you very, 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 very much indeed. I, I'm I'm speechless again. Are we close to the top of descent yet? It's probably worth checking, actually, Leonardo. I've got a bit distracted by all the chat and, and donations. Um, um, well, we should turn on VNAV and then we'll be able to see. I don't think we're that close. If we go to our progress page, we'd expect to start descending about 100 miles out. So we're, we've still got 600. Oh, no, sorry. Sorry. Got 216, 215 nautical miles to go. So we're not we're not too far from the top of descent. 
Um, if we zoom out, we should be able to see that little green circle, I would have thought. So yeah, slightly less than 100 nautical miles to go. I hope it. I hope there isn't a big gap between them. I hope not. Yeah, we did go out in the archipelago. We did. We did. Absolutely stunning place. The route you wanted to tell me was Barcelona to Paris. Do they? Do they? Is, is that Air France Hop? Sorry, I thought you were asking me for a route. I didn't know you were offering one. I'll add that for sure. Out of all the big international payways, which ones do I recommend the most? Las Vegas or Cologne Bonn? Las Vegas or Cologne Bonn? I actually think people would buy it earlier if they released it first. Yeah, but I, I think hardly anyone would buy the 700 if they got the 900 1000 first. Because I think it's on its way out as an aircraft. And uh, the 900 has a bit more life in it yet. ATC has decided to be stupid and stop giving you instructions. Oh yeah, ignore. built in ATC is easy to ignore. That is a hundred pounds. The face reveal is going to happen soon. <laughs> uh, well, we're certainly a little closer to the million. A little closer. <laughs> oh, thank you, Bailey. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm taking a little bit of a break from the reviews. Um, but I've got a couple planned for, uh, I don't like to put a date on it, whenever I next have time, which will probably be the week after next. Keen to have a look at Hobart and Vancouver. Hobart's not out yet, but um, we'll do a stream there. And there's the possibility of another giveaway. Possibility. As I say, Travelographer, my favourites are... Um, Las Vegas by Fly Tampa and Cologne Bond by Aerosoft. Oh, the best for money. So you want something a bit cheap and cheerful, but still quite good. Bailey's right. Ma Maco Sims Manchester's only only ten pounds, and it's pretty good. Right, I suppose I, st I should start thinking about the descent. Especially as I haven't flown this plane for a long while. Uh, we'll set up the set up the um, arrival in here. Just get the latest weather. Two six zero at ten knots. So departure arrival. We're going to be doing an ILS into runway 21 and we'll be arriving via, yeah, I've forgotten, the AMSEV 7 Mike, I think. There it is, AMSEV 7 Mike. And which transition will that lead us to INSAP? Execute that. Go over to the legs page. So from Amsev we do want to go to Agdes, so we'll move that up. And then after INSAP, we just check the approach chart. I'll show you this on the um, MFD. Why have I not got my charts ready? Oh, because I'm looking at Cologne. <laughs> uh, right, ENCN. Approach. ILS 2-1. So yeah, our initial in, uh, approach fix is going to be INSAT and then NELIP. Exec. And what we can do is step through that flight plan to make sure it makes sense. So we'll go to the MFD advance page, switch it into plan mode, zoom in a little, 
and close the lower menu and then we can step through it using next waypoint, not the next button. It does take you back to the beginning for some reason, that's why you'll initially see black. There we are, that's us. Zoom in a little more. And that's basically our approach routing. Pretty straightforward, round here, up here, left and left again. Nice! Uh, we'll go back to the present position mode. Zoom out a little bit. And now we'll go over to the perf page. Approach. I will catch up in the chat after I've done this. Sorry, I'm not... Well, I am ignoring you, but only short term. Um, right, put in the wind and that. 260 at 10 knots. Outside air temperature is 5 degrees at the moment. QNH is 979. Next page, it's calculated our VREF and V approach. Press the send button and they should come up over here once we are uh, once we're in descent. So that's good. That's that done. And now all we need to do, bearing in mind there's no ATC on, I don't think. I'll double check we're not about to enter someone's airspace. Ooh, Polaris is still online. But we'll be starting our descent before we get to them. Uh, so we can, what we can do, we're in... Uh, oh, I thought I'd, I thought I'd selected VNAV. Right, V Alt S, so VNAV armed and... Uh, Alt select mode and we'll wind our altitude down and it'll just descend us through on our profile. We won't go below, uh, well we'll stick to flight level 200 because we'll probably be getting uh, clearance from control by the time we get there. Right, go back to the wing view and I will catch up on your chat. Sorry I've been uh, away for a while. Cologne's amazing. Do I like China? Um, I the bits I've seen, yes, I do. I should do a giveaway for X Plane Mobile, so you automatically. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> We've just bought Tron Time, and it's really good. Yes, yeah, I mean Tron Time is is right right up there. It's at least I would say it is at least as good as Cologne Bomb. It's just not quite as useful an airport in terms of route network. If I get a million quid in donations, will I flee to Brazil to escape the tax man? Face pick from Copacabana Beach. <laughs> no, I won't, Stephen, because I believe in paying my taxes. <laughs> I hope the A220 is good when it comes out as well. I, yeah, I'd love that plane. It's a beautiful machine. And perfect for flying in and out of Zurich, which I love. That's a very valid point, Morton, it's true. A friend of yours who flies for an LMS is helping in the development of the 737. Oh really? That's encouraging. This is the freeware 737 that's being done, right? I'm not sure LJ Blogs about which variant it is. Oh, M Morton is. Good. But what about, um, who's the other guys who are working on it? TAP. What about TAP? Are they doing the other one? You're going to Gibraltar. Nice. Very nice. That should be a fun flight and a nice holiday, I'm sure. Well, according to the Meta, it's improved a lot, but I'm suspicious of how accurate the live weather will be because of what you said, Zenith. Waiting for the A340 from Tolis for X Plane. Yeah, that's another one I'll be jealous of. Hello, Hugo. Hello, how are you? A new thing is on the FS text in the PFD. It shows you the miles to the top of descent as well as the waypoints. Oh, okay. Let's have a look at that. The FS text on top of the PFD. So I guess we go to PFD menu. And overlays, right? Is that what you mean? Let's 
terrain and weather. Config? How do you add text to the PFD? I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> ben, yeah, we should. We should. We should. I think I think we should have a little practice flight once CRJ Manius died down and then just do it. I think well, I think that's that's what we should do. Cuz I haven't used your controls for ages, so I I need a little bit of a refresher on how you make it behave. <laughs> Also, if you heard Shared Cockpit in your name, are you actually 20 minutes behind? I bet you've paused it. <laughs> ah, excellent. Welcome to the Discord, Dale Joe Brooks. FS Text. What is it? I don't even know what. Oh, you, 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 were, you were up to date. <laughs> well done. A practice fly <laughs> or a few or a few <laughs> the other the MFD the MFD okay okay right um, it has been so blimmin long ah FMS text that's what you mean yeah I'm with you now Um, miles to the top of descent. It's not though, it's only showing me my next waypoint. Is there a, is there a secondary option to that? Is it on the lower menu? Good. I, I, YouTube, you, you'll get there. You'll get there. It takes a bit of practice, but you're doing well. <laughs> Your name is... Do you know, I, that's so odd. I was thinking, shall I keep calling him LJ Vlogs or shall I ask him what his name is? Uh, Lewis, I'll remember that. I'll remember. I probably won't. I'll forget, but I'll try. I'll try my very best. Do I think the payware is worth getting? For, for what, Travelographer? Well, I can't make it show the top of descent, but it's all right. I'm, I'm, um, I'm hopefully doing some filming with Matt tomorrow, and uh, we're going to try. Basically, the plan is it's a very vague plan. We're going to try and do some short little snippets that I'll edit together when I have time, of of things that we didn't cover in the initial lesson. So different types of approaches: R nav, VOR, DME approaches. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, uh, thank you. When did you become such a CJ4 expert? You're showing me up. <laughs> oh, payware airports and sceneries in general. Um, personally, yeah. It, it, for me, I won't fly anywhere without having a payware airport or scenery because, it, it, you know, the default blocky airports ruin the immersion for me. I want to feel like I've actually arrived somewhere different. Um... But at the same time, it's a slippery slope and all of a sudden you're uh, um, spending loads and loads of money and you get used to it and you don't want to fly anywhere else and you end up like me. But um, yeah, if, it, it depends. If you're satisfied with the default airports, then don't spend your money. We're, we're very nearly there, Steve. It's not happening. Where did you see this? So you'll notice V path is flashing because it's uh, just captured. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Quality is variable, travelographer. Immersion addiction. That is a very good way of putting it, Wyatt. Yeah.
I've got to be honest, I'm fortunate now. I do get quite a lot of the add-ons I review for free um, as press copies. But uh, back in the day, I spent far, far more money than was sensible on scenery. I've been using Flight Sim for about 20 years, something like that, about 20 years, off and on. I've had breaks. In fact, I've had some very long breaks, but that's when I first, first flew in a Flight Sim. Well, Polaris control is still on, on 121.55. So I guess we better tune them in. What do I need your money for if I'm not even buying it? Hardware, holidays and booze, Martin. That's what I need your money for. <laughs> it's in the notes on the latest build. Ah, okay, okay. I've logged 261, runway 23, clear to present 21, clear to land, wind uh, 26010. Oh, we got someone English doing Polaris control. It's upsetting. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. <laughs> I'm glad the uh, vape pen adds to the experience, I'm never sure. Good old cocaine and cookers. <laughs> well, before we pass through this cloud layer. I'm going to stick on the, um, well I can't even read it, it's too bright. The, uh, we'll stick on the wing and engine anti-ice, I think. Be on the safe side, this is MSFS after all. You have to enable it in the MFS. Uh, Sorry, you, you forgot you have to enable it in the MFS. Added VNAV window to FMS text. Can be added by selecting VNAV window in the display. Menu. Oh, I see. Oh, it's a bit, yeah, it's, yeah. I have, yeah, I have um, some experience with that. Awesome, thank you. KLM 5 on uniform, so uniform now next one to do it, bye-bye. We have the next altitude constraint, the glide path KLM 5 and the descent uniform. rate. Uniform, one That's to very it, handy, bye -bye. that's very handy, thank you, Steve. Sagar, finally okay, caught you. Ah, oh, welcome. Bye. I'm glad KLM you've caught me, good. Bye. Uh, what vape do I have? Um, I, well, I use it, it's a t I use um, Diamond Mist Tobacco flavour. You're becoming quite quite the CJ4 guru, Steve. I'm impressed. CJ4 bit bit mode on. <laughs> Do I have any big plans when lockdown ends? Oh God, I just, I want to do everything. I haven't got anything planned because um, I'm quite cautious. So I don't want to do anything until I've had both my jabs. I don't want to go anywhere or mix with large volumes of people indoors. Um, what I really want to do though is go back to Japan. That's, that's my biggest dream for when it's all over. Ah, good Jenny. Glad, glad you're back full time. Do I recommend getting a portable SSD? Um, yeah, I, I think an SSD of some sort is probably a good idea. Ben, no worries. Thank you for popping by and, well, not just popping by, staying for a while. 
Um, but, uh, you're very welcome. The, thank you. Thank test. you for being a mod. And I'll see angle. you. I'll speak to you very soon. I'm sure. Enjoy your tea. Oops. Sitting at Chicago Airport, airport waiting for a flight. Yeah, <laughs> good. Good. Any interesting routes for, with the CRJ from Elysia? Not that I've been able to found, find. Not that I've been able to find. I haven't been able to find a single route from, from La Coruña. Yeah, beer gardens. I mean, beer gardens, pubs in general. See, just seeing people. Like, even if it's just in my own flat, I don't care where. Just, just having actual company. That's the most exciting. Thing. It's not a plan as such. It's what I'm looking forward to the most. And hugs. Schools in Manchester have started seeing rises in COVID, really, yeah. yeah. Shocker. <laughs> what time will giveaway stream be? I don't know. I don't know, Ludwig. It really, this is why I haven't advertised anything yet, because we don't yet know at what time the CRJ will be released. So it'll probably be a fairly last minute decision. Oh, you must go, Jared. I went, I think it was two summers ago, was it? Or two springs ago? I went, yeah, spring, I went for cherry blossom season and I wasn't, do you know, it was a friend's idea and I thought it'd be quite good fun, but I absolutely loved the place much, much more than I thought I would. So I want to go back and see more, basically. We went to the cinema. Wow. Oh, yeah, you're in Bulgaria. I was going to say, how do you manage that? <laughs> what did you see? <laughs> nice, all right. It's, uh, it's good to have these uh, chats. Good night, crisscross. I'm glad you enjoyed the flight. Oh, okay. There we are. That's something to look at. Uh, Air Nostrum. Yeah, I think if we want to fly in Europe, we're going to have to um, um, just making a note. Acarinia. Uh, I think we're going to have to accept that we're not always going to be able to fly the correct variant. Oh, okay, good. Well, there we are. I'll, I'll aim for the evening. How's about that? We might be on the same flight, if that's true. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you will, Jenny. Now, do I wait for a contact me or do I give them a shout now? That's the question. Probably wait for a contact me. Oh, interesting. It's gone off nav mode. We're a bit off course. Don't know how that happened. No biggie. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, I bet you were. I bet you were. It must have been really nice. Give them a shout. Give who a shout. I haven't flown it for ages, Sega, so I can't help, but they're pretty responsive on their Discord server. That's, that's where I'd recommend uh, finding help for it. Um, gonna need a few more of the larger airports released. Yeah, my scenery collection for the US is pitiful. But they, there is a, there is a, um, there are a couple of routes to Aspen which I really want to do. Like once I, once I feel like I can fly the thing. Altitude. Oh, is he just disconnected? Oh. They always do, they see me coming. Rubbish. Okay, never mind. Well, in that case, we can just keep our descent going. 
all the way down to 3,000 feet which is where we should be intercepting the glide slope. He was only online for about 50 minutes. Oh well. Oh where are you off to Ludwig? <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll try that Jared. <laughs> Next time come with another account yeah. Yeah, the uh, weather's looking not at all like the Meta. But we're still a little ways off, it might get better. Thank you, Zanis, thank you. Your collection's growing, but you're trying to keep it a slow grow, so you buy ones that end up not being very good. So you don't buy ones that end up not being very good, I take it. A320 Neo to Nice from Stockholm. Nice, 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 nice. I've never been to Nice, actually. I've been near. been to uh, Marseille and Aix-en-Provence and a few other places around there, but not Nice itself. Yeah, <laughs> I got it, I got it. Lake will be tuned. Let's see if it works. Should do. Right, I think we'll stick the seatbelt sign on. May I have your attention, please? The captain has turned on the seatbelt sign. Please fasten your seatbelt and shoulder harness at this time. Thank you. We'll set the minimums, which are 252 for the ILS. Suppose we'd better call it 260 to be on the safe side. Now nah, let's live dangerously and call it 250. <laughs> yeah, I mean I've flown it in the sim a number of times. It is a stunning approach. Just letting the speed bleed off now, so we're uh, below 250 knots, below 10,000. Best airports, Jared. My top. Well, I do you know. I did. I did a list um, of the top 10 add-on airports so far, just before last Christmas, and it honestly hasn't changed since then. Um, I'll post a link, but actually, no, it has changed. That's not true. I'd add Las Vegas very near the top spot. Um, if I can find it. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, Las Vegas and Cologne Bonn. Those are the top two for me. Seems the way... I don't know, it's clearing up a little bit ahead. I, I, I'm feeling cautiously optimistic, so the airport's somewhere over here and we're expecting few clouds at flight level 150 which is sort of what we've got to be fair KSDF, ah, I might take a look at that 
Oh yeah, if you want GAF, Orcas Island is lovely. It is. <laughs> if it's as nice as it is in the sim, then yeah. Stick the landing lights on before we pass below 10,000 feet. Hmm. We were going to take a look at this chart, weren't we? So, charts button. Lower menu. Zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Look at the arrival chart first, I think. That's interesting, our position isn't showing up on there. Oh, is it because we're outside? Have we done the star? No, so we're somewhere up here, I think, yeah. So between CN710 and CN... Oh, sorry, between CN008 and CN710. Anyway, that's what our uh, star looks like. And if we go back to the menu, we'll take a look at the uh, ILS approach. So INSAT was the last waypoint on the star. We're going to be heading 304, making a left and intercepting uh, the ILS there. Oh, you can click and drag it. I didn't know that. That's much easier. And we want to be at 3,000 feet uh, when we intercept. So there you have it. I haven't asked for TJSJ, actually. Tennis. But I might do. You did San. K San is San Diego, is it? Yes, I think so. Are you? Yeah, I loved. I loved San uh, San Diego's. Well, Orbex is San Diego. I know there's another one out. I'm pleased it's good. interesting the uh, descent smoothing was not particularly smooth there this is beautiful though isn't it uh, just have a look at that spy see if uh, anyone else is inbound no just us and we'll start slowing down a little further I will nail this landing view. I hope you're right, Jamie. I hope you're right. It's been a long time since I've flown this plane. You're from England, but you've flown in America a lot. And you do some flying there. Yeah, I, I do a few flights in America, but not so much. Is it? See, this... Yeah, I was tempted when that came out, but I thought, oh, I wouldn't fly there. Because there just aren't many airports around it. But now we've got... Now we've got two versions of Vancouver. Might be worth looking at. Lots of routes up. Oh, I know. And Dash 8s. I know. I've got to be honest. I would rather we had an Ombre than a CRJ coming out for that reason. They're just a lot more common in Europe. going to use a little bit of speed brake to slow us down. want to be uh, below 200 before we take that next turn. Uh, no, I'm probably not going to go on holiday this year. Oh, hello K2. Scroll the data knob and it'll cycle between... Ah, I didn't know that. Thank you. Let's try that out. Matt's going to teach me some of this tomorrow, hopefully, but I had already planned this CJ4 stream and everyone wanted to see the charts, so I figured I'd... Yeah, there it is. Just scroll back and forth. Thank you. That's well worth knowing. Uh, yeah, I wanted to do this CJ4 stream and uh, people wanted to see the charts, so I thought I'd wing it. 
<laughs> but I did give the disclaimer that I'm not an expert and I haven't flown it for ages. Flying in Norway is awesome, just have to take the wrong aircraft then. Maybe, maybe, but I don't like doing that. I'll just fly the CJ4 more. Someone who doesn't live in Europe, here's a question. Is Ryanair's landing really that atrocious? I, I think they've got a reputation that probably isn't that deserved. San Har yes, I, I, um, I saw the release note. It, it looks good. VNAV smoothing issue, there was the 90 degree turn and VNAV didn't account for the aircraft cutting the corner as I was high. Ah, okay, interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, some you. great contrast in scenery. B -b 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 bumping over the mountains and to Las Vegas. Nice. Oh yeah, I remember seeing the pictures of my... Uh, of you doing some... Uh, Philbert Flies Evangelism. <laughs> DC-3 be good add on fly around Alaska. Yeah, it would. It would. Right, let's get uh, let's get 15 degrees of flaps out, I guess. Cuz we are a little fast. We're a little fast. Let's get rid of the chart for now. And oh gosh, I'm way behind. We want to arm approach mode. Oh, it has it not auto tune. Check lope tuning. I didn't check the lope tuning. Uh, making a meal of this. One one zero point nine. Too busy chatting, not paying attention to the aircraft. It's all right. We got away with it. Christian Sands hopefully going to be getting a flight to South End, really. I might visit. Oh, it's a bit bumpy, isn't it? Okie dokie. Approach checklist, landing data we've checked, crew briefings complete, avionics flight instruments are checked, minimums have been set, fuel transfer selectors off, exterior lights we have, landing light on, beacon, nav and strobe, uh, ice protection systems, we've got wing and uh, engine anti-ice on. Ooh, it's blowy isn't it, 41 knot wind, it's truth. Flaps 15, passenger briefing we have not done. Let's do that now quickly. Again, better late than never. <laughs> uh, seats upright and outboard, seat belts adjusted and secure, passenger light safety button is on, pressurizations. Fine, I'm sure. Before landing checklist. Well, we're not there yet. We'll uh, bung our gear down now, though, I think. Got about eight mile final, something like that. Christian Sand traffic, Citation Golf, Foxtrot, Lima, Bravo, Tango. On final for runway 21. No, no, no major dramas. I forgot to ch I forgot to monitor the um, um, CDU, and I didn't notice that it hadn't auto tuned our uh, ILS. But that's you know that's a simulator problem, not my fault. It's ever so bump. Oh, I haven't got flight recorder running. We should do that in case it's a good landing. If it's not, I'll just say that flight recorder packed up. <laughs> okay, it hasn't captured the uh, glide slope. I don't know why. So we'll hand fly. Autopilot.
flaps full. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's the first time I've done an approach to this airport. I only downloaded it a couple of days back. And we'll keep the speed coming down. Oh yes, suddenly getting quite foggy. Okay, and we're sort of back on the glide slope now, I'd say. Oh, and a bit of rain. Well, it's mucky weather, but it's very atmospheric. Not my most stable approach, sorry K2 if you're still watching. I haven't flown this for ages. just think if you fly the aircraft for real and you've put all the hours into developing this mod you really don't want to watch someone mess it up <laughs> a bit fast aren't they still not a bad touchdown considering I feel Welcome to Christian Sand. Yeah, the weather really suddenly went downhill, didn't it? It was smooth. It was <laughs> it was floaty but smooth. See you another day, Zenis. Thanks for popping by. Right, so this is really my first taste of Christian Sand Airport. What I'm going to do is, uh, seeing as there's no one around, I'm going to stop here, turn off the strobe and landing light, turn on the taxi light, and I'm going to have a quick look at the taxi charts. And I'm going to look at it on my uh, iPad, just because it's a bit easier. Interesting, I can't find any GA parking marked. Oh well, we'll have a nose around, we'll have a nose around, see what's what. Turn off the uh, pitot static heat before it burns through uh, everything. All success out of the jaws of defeat, yeah. Oh yes, thank you Ludwig, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Smooth like rich creamy butter. Spamming those brakes like that. Hopefully they were wearing belts. Well, it's my because I use a trigger, my brakes are either on or off. And uh, on is better than off. <laughs> thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Sinan. Thank you, Douglas. Hold on. <laughs> So really, I guess I guess we don't want to park. Ooh, what about these? Is this the sort of place you might park a biz jet? I think it is. We'll pop down here. Maybe they're a little small. Should have done my research, really. 
No, actually, I think these will these will be perfect. King brake set. <clears throat> and before we turn everything off, I guess we should watch the replay, right? I'm slightly, slightly in two minds, but uh, yeah, I think we, I think we will. I'll just catch up with your chat before we do. You're off to bed. Oh, if you're still here, Darren, thank you for coming and uh, see you again. Jason, hello, hello. Still a damn good landing. Oh, thank you, thank you. Fizzy, don't worry. Uh, I can't do another flight. It's nearly bedtime. Nearly legal 0.5 metres too wide. Dear. <laughs> yeah, There's an ATR. Where's the ATR? Parked up over there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. Let's do the replay, let's do the replay. I'll disconnect from Batsim. Not that there's anyone around, but don't want to get in trouble. <coughs> Stop the recording. And do replay. It's the first time I've tried it in the CJ4, I think. The scenery does look good. We'll we'll have um we'll have a proper look round after we land. What do you want? Wing view? Yeah, a bit of wing view. Not this one though. I think that one's good and what I'll do is I'll just stick my head a bit closer to the window. I will I will do a review of this scenery, yeah, yeah, but it won't be for a little while. Probably when I've after the C CRJ comes out and I'm bored of flying it, basically. <laughs> yeah, the rich folk have gone. Five. I love the Dash A. I used to love flying that many years ago. In uh, When was it? Was it FS 2004? Might even have been earlier. Very keen to get one in the sim. Yeah, I think I would have been gripping the armrests at this point as a passenger. <laughs> I will, I will, Morton. I love this sim, though. Just look at it. Just look how good it is. That was butter though, eh? Oh, I didn't even know we weren't down. There we are down now. Bit of pulling to the right when I landed. <laughs> no armrest in the CJ4. It's true. I think there's one on the... There's, there's one armrest. There's not enough armrests, but there are some. <laughs> Cling on to the one armrest with both hands. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. It was. It was a much, much windier approach than the Meta suggested it should be. Lower back commercial. <laughs> yeah. Do a short exterior. I will. I will. I'll just wait till we uh, pull off the runway, and then I'll rewind again, and we'll we'll have a look from outside. Maybe from the runway threshold. Right, now sometimes when I pause it and try to go back, it won't let me start it again, but... We'll... Oh no, 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 I think we're... are we alright? Yeah, we're alright, good. Woo. Right, let's get this set up.
I tell you what, we'll watch it from this house. Or just outside this house. Seems like a plausible place to watch an approach from, doesn't it? Where's me plane? I can't see it. Must be camouflaged in the trees or something. <laughs> uh, turn off drone follow mode. I mean, it'll turn up eventually, right? Oh, there it is. I was looking in the wrong direction. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> uh, nice. Right, let's reset the drone view and follow it in. Got a feeling I didn't re retract my spoilers. Oh no, I did. And my flaps. See Finnair Air Corsica ATR 72 for MSFS or Dash 8. What would you choose? Oh, Sasfin. <sighs> Don't know. Haven't flown either. I think. Are you talking about the Majestic Dash? Oh, hang on for this sim. Ooh. I think I'd rather have a Dash 8. It's a bit more. I don't know. I just used to love it. I've never flown on one in real life. Spiffing. Thank you. Sorry, did you say your name was Lewis? I think you did. I said I'd forget, but I didn't think I'd forget this early. Oh, sorry, do, uh, do I think the uh, new FS in Vancouver will be better than the FSGT since it is more of a port? I don't know. I've never owned one of their airports either. I really have no idea. I think both are ports, aren't they? So I don't know. You have sent any money? What do you mean, Darren? Lewis, right, I'm, yeah, I'm going to write that now. I'll, I'll lose a bit of paper now, but I'm going to write it down. And hopefully it'll help me remember. There we are, noted. I remember you saying, Mark, on the, uh, on the bimble you were talking about that, I think. Yeah, they are both cheap. And this one comes with, like, two other airports as well as the main Vancouver International, doesn't it? Bit of pilot indecision there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you'd never fly here, don't buy it. It is a bit of a niche airport. But I do love flying in Scandinavia. I just I love the scenery, and with the CJ4, I think I will you know I'll, I will be back. So it would be worth it for me. That's right. Yeah, yeah I remember. Oh, I was going to say, could have done with nudging it forward a bit. Could still have done with nudging it forward a bit. Yeah, it is a little bit too wide. You were right. <laughs> anyway, what we'll do is uh, shut down the aircraft, uh, have a little look around the scenery, and then we can all go to bed. Except Jenny, it's too early for you. Right.
Parking brake set. We'll kill the engines. Turn off the anti-ice. Turn off all the lights and the belt and the safety light. Uh, climate control selector to off. Avionics switch off. Close the stupid logbook thing. Throttles are at idle. Exterior lights are all off. Battery switch off. And there we have it. I don't need to write that down, Ludwig. I'll be doing that. And then probably Brom at London City. Right, let's have a little nose around, shall we? We won't be going to bed for another four hours. Fair enough. Where are you? Where are you based, Lewis? You would fly, but only once from South... Yeah, th yeah, I know. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. That is, that is the biggest factor, isn't it, in whether you should buy an airport or not. How often you'll fly there. Thank you, uh, Wyatt. I missed that. Thank you. <laughs> Stream compete logbook statement complete. <laughs> well, I want to stop saying it, but everyone seems to like it, Jason. And it does seem to still come naturally, even though, <laughs> you know. Uh, right, well, here we are. Here we are. Some nice, uh, nice hangar slash fire station type places mm -hmm. Ooh, nice nice guy are getting better at the transparent glass aren't they don't know who these two are they're very casually dressed to be up on an air traffic control tower <laughs> this is nice tinted windows think they tinted yeah tinted inside and out cool oh I didn't know it's on Vancouver on Vancouver on Orbex no 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 comments at all on static aircraft anymore just facts <laughs> facts no opinions <laughs> far too controversial though Harrison isn't here so I could risk it no I won't very nice, very, very nice. Very nice. Thank you, Sega, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. I'll see you on the next one, I hope. <laughs> there, and I've discovered, since it's been pointed out to me repeatedly in various Discord servers, that I refer to everything as crisp crisp textures that's something I really do want to stop saying but you know it's kind of applicable here I'm gonna say sharp <laughs> me neither yeah I'm very excited about Munich and Stansted that is a dash eight yes yeah, alright uh, what was the in future could we watch a replay from the tower in future yeah yeah for sure that's a good idea And you're it, yeah. <laughs> you you are a little late, Demetrius, but we're having a look around the airport. No, so no, it's not free. It's it's a new release from Gaia, uh, which you can get via Orbex Direct. Oh, there's a whole nother little building here. What's going on in here? Boarding control, nice. Would be nice if there were, if uh, a sober could add some occlusion to the building so it doesn't rain and snow inside. But you can't have everything. Yeah, I'll definitely I will do a review of this, and uh, it will be pretty positive, I think, from what I've seen. <laughs> Good, Ludwig. Textures look like them good walkers. <laughs> 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 
glam, yeah, glam textures. <laughs> As a teenager, you keep basically saying basically. So basically, it's just to have it. Oh yeah, that's quite a common one, I think. And like, a lot of people say like incessantly, and that's like amazing. <laughs> well, there we are. There we are. We could nose around this airport for hours, but I think we'll call it a day there. There is going to... Oh, any recommendations for a home airport? Oh, gosh. Well, it depends. It depends what where you want to fly from, really. Copenhagen? Copenhagen's pretty nice. Yeah, anyway. I So there will be a little bit of a gap before the next stream. I'm not certain, but I think that my next one now probably won't be until CRJ's been released. And it will probably be... Well, it will be a CRJ stream. It'll hopefully also be a CRJ giveaway stream. So that's something to look forward to. Um, but there is going to be a little bit of a wait in the meantime. Um, hoping to do a couple of videos in the meantime. Um, but if I don't see you before, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you in particular to Tom for your, the £100 of donations. I still can't get over it. And thank you to all the rest of you who have donated and subscribed and joined Club Philbert. And uh, I'll see you fairly soon. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.